Hello, my name is Brian Mastenbrook, and I'd like to demonstrate a few features of the S-Expression editor of the Interlisp programming environment here running under the Medley emulator. To start off with, running in the emulator here, we need to make a listener. We get a couple different options for which language to choose, Interlisp, Old Interlisp, and two different dialects of Common Lisp. Drag a new window for the listener, and we have a standard listener. One thing to note is that when you hit the right paren to close an expression, it will automatically evaluate. So, from the editor here, we can define functions. We can also invoke the S expression editor to bring up a interactive editor to create a new function definition. We'll do this as follows. Once we hit the close paren, we have the option to create a new dummy definition for the symbol. In this case, a uh, function definition. And since we're off the screen here, we'll shape it back onto the screen. And here we have a dummy definition. But this definition is a little bit different. We're actually editing the S expression, so we can put the cursor at a point anywhere here. Hit the delete key a few times. When we delete over the opening quote, the entire quote disappears since we're editing that object. And we can fill in our parameter list here. I'm editing the standard tack benchmark here. And we delete the body that they supply and we start editing the definition. Note that when we hit a left paren, it automatically creates a pair of parens because it will only ever edit valid expressions. As we type, certain things will be highlighted. And as we hit the close paren, we will start to close the expressions. Now, as we hit a new opening paren here, the editor chooses to display it on the next line. Keep typing here. And we just type along as if we're ordinarily typing the expression. Only instead of hitting enter or anything to indicate alignment, we let the system take care of it. And we let the system take care of our closing parens too. Oops, made a mistake there. As we see, it's automatically balancing the display of the expression here. And so now we have our complete expression. All we need to do here is close the window. And we see we have a new function definition for TAC. And Sure enough, if we call it, we get the right answer for the base case. Compile the function, and we can run it a few times. And when it's done, we should have a trace window here. which we can see tells us that for 50 iterations it took 1.151 seconds. And we can also run disassemble. And we can see the disassembly in terms of the emulated instructions, you'll note that this tends to look a lot different than, say, PowerPC or x86 disassembly. And, of course, when we're done, we can clear all of the definitions of TAC, and everything goes back to the way it was.